coming up next. It's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, this fighter has read the Marquess of Queensbury rules cover to cover. Truly one of the best boxers we have in the UFC today, and he works everything off of that jab. Oh, yeah, the jab is what got him to the show. He is just a phenomenal boxer, and John, I love you throwing out the Queensbury <laughs> rules in the walkout for this man because he signifies everything that is boxing. He's a guy that loves the sport. He wanted to take boxing on his back and bring it to mixed martial arts and show that it, it is as an effective form of combat as anything else. He said, I'll walk away from an Olympic opportunity to take my sport into the octagon and show that we are the best fighters in the world. And he's done that to this point in the UFC. All right, so here he is, one of the better boxers in this division. Certainly has a well-rounded MMA skill set, but it's hard to lead the walk with anything other than the hands, which might be the best in this division. Especially when you look at some of the highlights, right? You look at him landing that jab, and it's almost picture perfect. The jab lifts the head, the right hand follows, and guys are going to sleep. Yeah. I would love to be considered a boxer if I had the skills yeah. that this young man possesses. Be happy, because you've spent a lifetime developing it, and now it puts you on the cusp of UFC superstar. He looks as comfortable throwing a jab as I do, like, folding a slice <laughs> of pizza in half, you know? <laughs> Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 206 pounds, fighting out of Irvine, California, Boom Boom. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds, fighting out of New York, Iron. Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're gonna get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is a funny shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Great punch landed with so much power. Nice, sneaky head kick. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Right hand punch in the clinch. He's in the clinch now. Both guys appeared to land there. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. 
He's a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Oh, a huge block there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Great diversity in this attack. Nice elbow. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh, big knee there. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent, you got to be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. Tie. Oh, big punch lands. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, that right hand is on point. Oh, nice counter punch there. Again, we talked about the reach advantage off the top of the show. Certainly paid dividends for him there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. All right, single collar tie now. Just missed with the left there. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Nice punch land. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, collar tie. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Huge block there. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Big ball for punch man. Now he gets back to range. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Ooh, head kick lands was hurt. Ooh. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. 20 seconds to go in round one. 15 seconds to go. Punch over the top. A oh, little single collar tie there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, next round is underway, and somewhat surprisingly, he got out of that previous round without absorbing anything in terms of significant damage, despite the fact that his opponent was pretty offensive. His opponent was very active, but it seems as though he can see almost everything coming in his direction. He's so well-versed, he's so skilled in his defensive fighting that nothing is breaking his defense. Beautiful punch. 
All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Oh, big head kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. That's a big strike right there. Oh, slips to avoid the right. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands going now. Slips the punch. To try to establish that jab. Oh, and he caught the kick. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, damage done. Bleeding from his cheek now. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there. And offensively, he hasn't been a wool beater, but defensively, he's been strong. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head movement and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. Oh, single collar tie here. Nice punch lands over the top. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, man. <laughs> jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did, because I have time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. What a punch. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body. And if you're the defensive fighter here, you've got to make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat you got to get the elbows inside, otherwise it's going to land one that's going to shut everything down. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll, and you watch the opponent. He's walking gingerly on his leg, and one big tell that you're starting to really do well with your leg kicks is when your opponent starts to switch stances. Right. Watch for a stance switch very soon. Nice kick. Liver kick. Blocks that strike. And both guys really throwing with authority. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Single collar tie now. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Can't take many of those, you better check. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Ten minutes in the books. Take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. 
And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so here. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight goes on, you will see it start to pay itself off. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Throws the left hand. So a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, big head kick lands. Oh, lands a knee to the head. Taller fighter once again finding the target with relative ease. Nice punch there. There he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. And they separate. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number. Oh! Beautiful knee. Oh, straight right. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Hands up, hands up. Big body kick. He loaded up on that right hand, too. And there comes the separation now. Boy, Ty Plump. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, man. You gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. If you're in the clinch, you go to the body, that's an investment. You keep on putting that money away with every single body shot. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Ooh, big shot land. That one appeared to start. Oh! Whip his hip into that kick. What a body kick. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Got the single collar tie. Oh. Checks the leg kick. Oh, that is a furious inside leg kick. You ever taken like a five finger to the inside of your leg? That don't feel good. Never mind a kick like that. A four, I mean, slapping your leg hurts. Imagine someone this side kicking you with his shin in the inside of your leg. You cannot take many of those kicks. The issue with that kick. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, 
then you can really, really put some damage on it. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body up. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good knock. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so easy to match. Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. We'll see what he can do with it. He blocks the punch. Visibly limping here. Big leg kick land. He's able to slip the left there. Blocks the shot. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, clipped him with the overhand. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Straight punch lands. Big head kick lands. All right, single collar tie now. Big kick lands. Nice head kick. Oh, collar tie. Just misses with the straight right. Nice defense there, huge block. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Good punch, land. Caught that. No, there's danger in that, too, because when you start reaching on to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Whoa! <laughs> Unable to connect with the right hand there. Oh, nice. Left hook, right hand. in the single collar tie. Big kick land. Nice counter right hook there. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, and that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. Winner by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man.
So there he is after the big TKO victory here tonight. He had some doubters coming in. He certainly muted those naysayers here tonight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official the decision. Has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 40 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO! Well, can you imagine what the celebration is like in his hometown right now after he gets the TKO win tonight? He said he wanted to leave the judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. He left the judges out of it. The judges could have went to the concession stand because once he got his opponent hurt, he was not going to stop until he got that TKO.